Well, hello everyone. This is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. And today is August 18th, 2018. We're in Sun City, Hilton Head. And you're looking at a move-in ready home by Del Webb Communities. The model is the Summerwood. It's for sale today, listed with Del Webb Communities for $376,990. It has a lot of upgrades. I'm gonna point them out to you as we walk through this house that has 1,859 square feet, two bedrooms and a flex room, which can be an office or a bedroom, two bathrooms. It has an oversized garage. It has walk-up storage. Many of the options I'll point out to you as we go through. It also has the most popular and I believe the most expensive elevation offered on this model with the covered front porch, the three gables up top, which are strictly decorative. This house is entirely on one level, on slab. And that window that you see up over the garage is your walk-up uh, storage over the uh, garage. Well, let's just take a quick look around the neighborhood here. Sun City is possibly the premier 55 and over community in the entire country. Just recently won an award by one of the 55 and over websites as being the most popular 55 and over community in the entire country. What you're looking at here are homes in the Expedition series. Uh, there's actually four of them, the Abbeville, the Castle Rock, the Martin Ray, and the Summer Ville. All of them are very popular. People who buy a Castle Rock love their Castle Rock, etc., etc. They all have something to offer. This is a Castle Rock right next door. And um, we'll walk through that one too. Well, again, my name is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. And my company is Go Gated Realty, like Gated Communities. And I'm the Gated Community Specialist, ladies and gentlemen. And Sun City Hilton Head is a gated community. It actually has several gates, uh, several actual mechanical gates. They also have man <clears throat> security gates. Uh, this is a large community at full build out that will be about 9,000 homes. And at this point, they have about 750 homes more to build. And so uh, based on supply and demand, I have to tell you that uh, at $376,990, the asking price for this house, uh, I like it. And that's one reason why we're here. This is what's uh, called a showcase home or a uh, move-in ready home. Um, most of the buyers that I work with actually build a home and I'm happy to help them. I am a former licensed South Carolina home builder, but not everybody can wait the six months that it takes to build a home. They're ready to go now, and that's why Pulte, which is the builder of all of these homes, usually has a handful of them ready to go or very near completion, and this is one of them. So let's take a look. We have a hardy plank exterior, which is a concrete fiber board. It's the uh, state of the art, I guess you could say, the uh, best uh, exterior material. It's being used all over the world in premier properties. Uh, we have uh, vinyl clad windows. We have a, a two car garage here with carriage lights. I really like the covered front elevation of this house with the uh, pillars. We have gutters. Many people comment on the fact that gutters are not on all the houses that are for sale these days. Well, it's an option. This house has them. We also have a brick apron around the base. And our front door is recessed and well out of the weather. We have an attractive beadboard ceiling here. Let's go in and take a look. Now, if you build, and most likely you're gonna to respond to this video after this house has sold, because I don't think it'll take long to sell. They never do in Sun City. It's such a popular market, a very hot market. But then we would talk about building one for you at which time you would choose the model you like. Let's say you choose for this one, the Summerwood. Well, you'll choose all the colors inside and out, the elevation, the type of floor covering, your appliances, all the different things that will individualize and personalize 
the house the way you want it to be. So in this house we have upgraded wood floors. What's included is a wood foyer and a tile kitchen and wet areas like the bathrooms, the laundry. Well, most people, the first option that they take is to run the wood right on through the living room. As you see here, the kitchen, the dining area, that's what you see in this house. And in addition to which, this has an upgraded wood. It's not the included three inch plank, it's a wider five inch plank. Well, all right, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but let's just, uh, we're in the foyer. That's the flex room with the double doors there to the right. Immediately to the right is our second bedroom at the front, which could be an office, of course, but you know, out here, uh, so many people don't necessarily need an office. They're more interested in a guest room, but that's where the flex part comes in, in this next room that I'll tell you about. This one would probably be, for most people, a true guest bedroom. We have a guest bathroom or second bathroom right here to the right and in this case we see some really nice upgrades uh, mainly in the form of the granite top standard is cultured marble also very good the granite top and the framed mirror we have a deep soaking tub here a fiberglass tub looking good that's a beautiful uh, fiberglass system there and the hardware is the rubbed bronze which uh, again we have options on top of options in the house the lever handles another option all that will match up if we build one you'll choose whether you like the uh, rub, rub bronze the uh, brush nickel the chrome that'll be for you to decide. So there's our second bedroom and second bath. Now this door here, if you use the flex room as a bedroom, I'll complete the thought right away. This is our flex room, which the double doors mean that it's being used as an office or a little bit of a sitting room because they close and give this separation from the rest of the house, which is my own choice. I always advise my buyers to um, choose for these doors on, on a, in a situation like this if you want an office or a separate room. But right where that left door is, right there, that's where it can be a doorway and this can become a bedroom. This would become a walled, this would become a wall and not a door. And over here would become a door so that when you come into the foyer, you'd have that front bedroom to the right where that closet is right there, that would be a door into that bedroom. And this foyer wall would in fact be a wall all the way and not a doorway. And that's what they call a flex room. It can become either a bedroom, so that you have three bedrooms here, or it can become an office as you see. Now, one of the things about this model, the Summerwood model, and I know this is probably getting a little complicated, but they have a lot of space over here that can become a fourth bedroom on this level. Look at this laundry. As it's being sold today, and again, this house is $376,990. This is a very large laundry room and with lots of cabinets, again, options on top of options. <laughs> you have the optional cabinets, the option, optional uh, washing bin, which is stainless with an upgraded a faucet, then you have a granite top. It's, it's just option on top of option. You have a large storage closet here in your laundry. Don't forget we don't have basements. We store things in closets and in attics. All of this space, or most of it, together with the space just on the other side of that wall, uh, can be either a full third car garage, it can be a uh, fourth bedroom or it can be as you see it kind of a hybrid We'll go out and see the garage in a minute and we'll revisit that uh, This does have a tankless water heater. I believe that's standard in these Pulte homes here in Sun City and the recommended temperature is 120 degrees and you can see how you can adjust that if you want That's on the outside of the house. So you have no wasted space uh, for your water heater well, all of this as an introduction, 
<laughs> to the main living area, I guess you could say. We're still in the foyer. We go through this archway into the open living area. Here to the right, this is your living room and your kitchen is open to the living room here to the left and your dining area is then to the back left. Now it is true that some of these houses will be right-handed instead of left-handed. That's dictated by the location that you choose because as you come down the street, that's one thing that Del Webb dictates to you as to whether your garage will be left or right depending on your side of the street. They're all uniform. I personally like this setup as a living room by itself and not to include the dining because the trend and the preference of most of the buyers is to have a single dining area and that would be here. It's plenty big enough for a large dining table. The cascading sliding glass door is an option in the summer wood. The covered front porch is standard in the summer wood. The screening is an option. I like that. We all need screen porches in this climate. And it's all open to this kitchen, which the unusual thing about this kitchen is an option which I don't believe they offer anymore, and that has the raised dishwasher. And here it is over here. Uh, they've upgraded the, the, the appliances in this uh, kitchen as well to the KitchenAid from the Whirlpool. But there it is, it's elevated. What that does, however, is it do does elevate your countertop, which looks to be a quartz, by the way, which is another upgrade. It looks like granite, but I'm pretty sure it's the new generation quartz with a farm style stainless sink and an upgraded brushed or rubbed bronze faucet. Anyway, that's the, uh, what accounts for that two level uh, countertop there. You do have your gas range here. This is a gas community, so you have real gas. The uh, backsplash is definitely upgraded. Every, so many upgrades in this house. That's the point I'm trying to make. Too many to tell you about in the introduction. Upgraded cabinets. All the appliances have been upgraded. Here's the, um, here's the KitchenAid double oven configuration with the microwave on top. I recently learned, by the way, that the KitchenAid microwaves also are convection ovens. I haven't verified that, but I, I believe that what I heard is true. I didn't know that before. These uh, kitchens rarely come with the uh, refrigerator and they don't come with washers and dryers. You would provide your own. And the Summerwood model has the pantry in the corner where I personally like it a lot. And uh, good shelving, I think, for most people there. And this is then the main living area of the Summerwood model. Very common to have pendant lights over your countertop. Those high windows across the far wall there give you privacy but light. And if you decide to build one of these, you'll choose all of these various options for yourself as to what kind of doors you like, pendants, floor covering. Let's take a look at the master bedroom. We go through a privacy jog here. In this case, to the back left, we have a tray or recessed ceiling, another option in this house. The recessed lights, sometimes called can lights, also an option. We saw those in that uh, flex room with the double doors. We see it here in the primary bedroom. All of those things are options which are included in this house at this price. The color on the walls, I believe it's what's called agreeable gray. It's the hot color now. It's replaced the, replaced the sand colored beige. It's now called the grayish, is what we call it in the, in the industry. It's, it looks gray, it looks beige. It's grayish. It's what's called agreeable gray. It's a Sherwin-Williams color. And it blends beautifully with everything, including what you see here in this master bathroom. Framed mirrors. We have a granite top, another big upgrade because cultured marble is standard in this company's products in the second and third bathrooms. Still very good, but the granite is just that much fancier. We continue with the rubbed bronze. In this case, we're being given these dark cabinets. 
If you build, you'll choose. We have an upgraded tile floor here with the rectangular shaped tiles. And at the end there are closet. But on the right here, ladies and gentlemen, we have a super shower. <laughs> and that means that you have a doorless entry. Not just frameless, there's no door here. Big bench, you come in, and here's the shower with the glass, the frameless glass panel to the left. Also a rain head. What would a super shower be without a rain head? I don't know, it needs that. We have the high window bringing in light, giving privacy. We have a second shelf, a third shelf. This is the super shower. King of the world. So, real quick, we'll finish up. We have the, the uh, closet over here for him and for her. There's more behind the door over this way. The wood floor continues in there. We have a linen closet with ventilated shelves. All the finish work looks very good. The tile looks good. The quality, especially considering the price, very nice in this house. Again, this is the summer wood model here. And I don't think I gave the address. I want to make sure I do that because this house is for sale today. It's 552 Village Green Lane. 552 Village Green Lane. All kinds of extras in this house. For sale today, I'd be very happy for you to call and show it to you if you're ready to go. Otherwise, I would just invite you to call. Let's get acquainted. Talk about the things that are important to you. Well, here, before I show you the screen porch, I want to show you the garage. I almost forgot because this is important. Here we go, back to the foyer. And we have what's called a finished garage. One of the options that uh, Pulte offers or Del Webb offers is, first off, do you want to have a finished garage? That means sheetrocked, painted, the woodwork and so forth. And that also means it's an insulated garage. So it is insulated, I recommend it. It's a much better look and over time, it's definitely worth it. You also have an option of an expanded garage which takes a four feet further back. I don't think that this house has that, but this is the other space I was telling you about earlier in the video. When you combine this space with that extra space you saw in the laundry and so forth, it becomes either a three car garage or a fourth bedroom. It can be a workshop. It's quite versatile. I like the summer wood. My buyers like the summer wood. And then this option also is a stairway up to some storage over the garage. They also are offering an energy package which takes the ceiling insulation from an R30 up to R36. In the back of my mind, I'm thinking it might even be an R38, but it's definitely better than the uh, code of R30 because the cooler your ceiling, the cooler your house will be. This shiny material that you're seeing up on your roof deck is called Tech Shield. It comes in different brands. I believe this is Tech Shield. Another brand, this is Tech Shield. Another brand is Solar Board, I believe. Anyway, that keeps your attic cooler, keeps your ceiling cooler, it keeps your living space cooler. It's an energy saving feature which is very important because energy over time is where you need to save money and you have that in this house. So th those are some of the reasons I wanted to show you the garage. And now we'll head on out to see the back porch and finish up. I'll give you my contact information and invite you to call. I hope I said that I'm showing you this house as a buyer's agent with 42 years of Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. I do not work for Sun City. I do not work for Pulte. I do not work for Dell Webb Communities. I work for my buyers as a buyer's agent and I'm only paid at closing 
by the commission, which is already in the price of this house and all other listed properties and new builds. Only if you buy and if you close do I get paid. And we can go into more detail on that when you call. But I only work as a buyer's agent, ladies and gentlemen. I don't represent myself. Uh, I don't represent, I don't solicit listings. But I probably should because I, I sell them as well as anyone. But I enjoy representing buyers. Uh, and these developers, like Del Webb, expect you to have a buyer's agent with you. Uh, it's allowed by law that you can have an agent represent you and uh, you don't have to have a buyer's agent but you certainly are allowed to have one it's your right and I work with many many buyers here in this community and others representing you the buyer uh, representing your best interests, getting the best deal for you a couple of things here new home always comes with a new heat pump nothing quite like that Pulte builds with the Tayex system, which is an in-wall insect system that is charged from the outside. They install it uh, included. The actual subscription is optional. Here's some of your mechanicals. There's your outside uh, tankless water heater, your gas meter, your electric meter. They also include uh, this uh, bait system, which is for termites and uh, that's a very interesting system that again you would have to subscribe to but the house will be bonded by the seller for the first year and then after that whatever kind of uh, termite or other insect prevention you want would be up to you we can talk about all of this and more this is a great community to live in they have outstanding recreational amenities several clubhouses indoor and outdoor pools two indoor heated pools outstanding fitness centers oh gee over a hundred clubs other groups uh, there's lots of pickleball here hard true tennis uh, three golf courses uh, whatever your interest is you'll certainly find it here one of the things that this community really excels at is simply the social network and universe so many of my buyers are concerned about meeting people when they move down here to the South Carolina Low Country. So how will that happen? Well, in Sun City, it happens. Believe me, <laughs> if it doesn't, there's something really wrong with you because everyone is from somewhere else around here and everyone's looking to meet their neighbors and other friends through the various activities and clubs that are here in Sun City Hilton Head. So let me invite you to call. Let's talk learn about what's important to you. Let me help you compare communities, help you compare builders, compare models, uh, help you through the entire process from start to finish and later. I've been doing this for 42 years. I am a buyer's agent. I represent you. So here's how you reach me. My phone number, my cell number, please call anytime. 843 684-2933. That's 843-684-2933. My email address, rich at gogated.com. That's R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D.com. And my website is gogated.com. And you can go to gogated.com, search everything available in Sun City or any other neighborhood in the Hilton Head Island, Bluffton area. But not all, everything that's available will be there. There's lots of information about properties, not so much about agents other than me at gogated.com. So please keep me in mind. I think having a good buyer's agent on your side can make a big difference in your success. It just doesn't cost anything more, ladies and gentlemen. It's kind of a no-brainer. Please consider bringing me on board with your process sooner rather than later. I think I will save you a lot of time give you advice that you can trust, help you through the process in many ways. And um, of course that includes referring you to an attorney or an inspector, all the different people that can form the team that you want to make sure that your experience is uh, a success and that you can shop with confidence. So thank you, thank you for watching this video. I really enjoyed showing you this beautiful Summerwood model here in Sun City Hilton Head for sale today 
552 Village Green Lane 376 990. Thank you again.